what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys we have a video here of our uh, apc winning uh national leader being roasted alive by shen Wu, you know and uh this is very interesting i want you to watch this video you see the moment shen Wu bombarded the apc women leader with questions that she could not really answer and the question ranges from that uh, she was trying to defend APC that APC have delivered on their mandate and on the change that was promised. And you need to listen to the whole barrage of questions that this woman was was inundated with by Sen which left her totally flabbergasted. So I want you to watch this video and then after that, I'll be back to comment on this video. Areas of the country so far, and for him, it's just to hit the ground running and ensure he fixes it. And I'd like to know, uh, Miss Ado, um, the party APC on one hand, the, the those who are in government on another hand, because the party is the one that is pushing the candidate forward. And the, the question is, your party, which promised change in 2015, the question is, are they, are they put, given that change? I mean, there are billboards of when the APC put out there that uh, they will cha uh, they will change the status of the Naira. Naira will be at a parity of one dollar to one Naira. Do you know what the dollar is right now to the Naira, madam? Sure. Are I you, do. How do you feel as a leader of the APC from a party that promised such miracle and now we are nowhere? So you can say we are nowhere. Okay, right. so let me give you an understanding um, of where, if we are somewhere or not. If you say you are going to have a naira, a parity of one naira to a dollar, and in the parallel market is about seven and forty naira to a dollar, are we somewhere? When you met it at about two hundred or less. So when you came into Nigeria as the or when you took over Nigeria as the party, the um, governing party in the country, right? And you met part of our territories, over 22 local governments in the hands of terrorists. And today, at your exit, you don't have any single part of our country under the rulership or ownership of any terrorist group. That's positive change. When we, when he came in to government, of course. APC got into government in 2015. Every other day we had bombs going off everywhere. I cannot recall the last time I had a bomb going off anywhere in Nigeria. That's positive change. That's because you live when, in Abuja. When, when, when you Those who live in some part of the interior of this country, well, of course in we the have northwestern you to report. region and northwestern region, you live in some part of the northeast region, they'll be wondering whether Mr. Edu, just like I said to Mr. Femi Additional yesterday, whether you live in the same Nigeria. Nigeria that they live in. Well, at least we have you to report for us. So if you're not reporting it, that means it's not happening. Is We're it? reporting people being kidnapped. Just today, we had two uh, the reports of two of the girls uh, that were kidnapped in Yauri by the Dongan Gide um, faction of, of the bandits uh, being released today. I mean, these are schools that bandits went in there and took away our, 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 our children. That's the sad state of security in the, in the country. So, uh, like, that is the country that the APC is presently uh, given to Nigeria. The truth is this, right? First and foremost, Nigeria today is not where it was in 2015. A lot has improved. Our infrastructure has improved. There was no second Niger Bridge and several other roads. Of course, you give it to this government. They've done a lot on infrastructure. They've done a lot in terms of even the humanitarian affairs, reaching out to people, creating different social platforms to be able to elevate Nigerians from poverty. A lot of laws have been passed into place to help form a system you're touch on, on that something is that is also very sensitive operational, why are you talking right? people out of poverty it's under your government that is a, now over 50 percent of nigerians are poor in fact 153 million nigerians are said to be in in multi-dimensional poverty and that's the situation that was not the case when you took over government in 2015 i'm I was asking I'm madam, sure you that your party promised nigeria uh, Uhuru, but now I don't know what you think. Do you think that Nigerians are happy with your party today? Yes, I think so. I think so. What makes you think so? 
Well, the, the ballots, of course, have, have stated very clearly with less than the, the, feeling, percent of the votes feeling of Nigeria. That you got the ballots. Right. The first of what you got in 2019 and 2015. Like I said, there's very, a decline of the acceptance by votes to your party. Of course, there were indicators that will show that there might be a decline, but our party still won the majority of votes in the last election, and that's what I'm stating. So I'll go through a couple of things uh, to put it in um, its context, right? In the last eight years, we've gone through a COVID pandemic that has left the entire world in an economic recession. I went to UK a couple of weeks ago, and I know how much... All right, guys, just as you can see, uh, this lady here is struggling to uh, balance and also to to, uh, to defend various policies and his eight years tenure, which has, has not achieved anything. Of course, you know, Boris tenure has come to an end. It just remaining just uh, three days. It's less than even three days to the end of, the, of his tenure. And a lot of Nigeria are beginning to... Um, examine, they are beginning to re examine and look at what and what and what has Bari achieved. And looking at it in the um, looking at it, he, he has not achieved anything. You could hear Shenwu, you know, uh, asking the lady when APC government came into power, before they came into power, they promised Nigeria that they were going to make one dollar to be equal to one naira. That has not been done. You know, and the issue of security, we see our security challenges in the country and a whole host of others. Econo economy of the country is in shambles, you know. So um, I just pity this lady. Look at the, 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 the barrage of missiles that were launched at her. She couldn't even defend anything. She couldn't even say anything. But rather she's trying to skip the question. This is what Nigerians are suffering. And that is why right now Nigerians are even leaving the country. They are leaving. Nigerian youth are leaving this country because there's no prospect, there's no future, there is nothing left for them. You know, so that's why you see, um, I mean, it's not a coincidence that Nigerian youth will wake up and say no to APC government. The last election that was held, it's popularly known that APC lost in that election. Everybody knew that APC lost out, but APC are forcing themselves on on, on Nigerians, and that is what is happening. That's why you hear Seung ask her that even in the last 2019 election, that the acceptance of Nigerian to APC government have declined, and that can even be seen in this election. Look at look at the gap between Tenobu and the rest of the candidate between Atiku Abubakar and the rest of the candidates. I mean, and Peter Obi, and look at what Peter Obi did in Lagos. Lagos said the case study of Lagos is enough to conclude that even Tinubu's own people do not even want him. They never wanted him. So that is a clear indication that this election, that the last election, APC never won it, but it was rigged out, and that is why the case is in court today. So what do you guys think? Do you enjoy the live roasting of this lady on live television by saying, drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is my TV. God bless you.